Hey guys, this is Aegis, and this is the first game of the semi-final from I Am China. Uh, this is going to be Mao's Hasuabs versus Elfie from Team Acer. And these games were extremely well played. Elfie, a little known Pronos player from Europe, up against the Giants here. Um, I'm sure some of you already know the results, but these games are so good that I just had to cast them. Um, I reviewed them on, I think, 4x, so sometimes I'm probably not going to be too sure what these players are going to be doing, especially because I reviewed basically the entire winner's bracket of IEM China on 4x. So we're going to be seeing both players here going to start off this PvP, uh, throwing down pylons, and we also have here uh, Hasuabs checking the bottom side of his base to make sure that uh, there's no proxy pylons or forges over there. We're going to be making sure that he stays safe against any cheese. We do have the probe also checking the inside of his base from Elfie, and he's also going to be throwing down a 12 gateway coming up. Hasu is, has paused production for just a second, also throwing up a 12 gateway and then starting a probe immediately after. Elfie is actually a tiny bit ahead and he does have the scouting probe mo moving across the field right now. There is a probe here from Hasu gonna be zapping away at that pylon. A probe does come out here and it looks like the pylon will continue to get work worked on. Uh, Ace, uh, Elfie is gonna be checking in here to see exactly what Hasu Ops is up to. There is the probe coming out, which should be throwing down another pylon as well as the cybernetics core in just a second. And the gas now getting mined from Acer's Elfie. And there's the cybernetics core coming up. A little bit of probe pause from uh, Acer's Elfie. So it looks like he was able to start his cybernetics core a tad bit uh, further ahead of his opponent. And it looks like the probe is going to begin uh, some mining harassment over here. Going to be preventing the probes from mining that gas, uh, the that one mineral patch for just a few seconds. And he's also got his uh, probe checking the geysers. Zella is also on the way for Acer's El Elfie. Second gas coming up for Hasu Abs. And this probe actually using the little trick to prevent his uh, opponent from throwing down the second gas, which is critical in a PvP, especially if you want to do any sort of teching, which is much more possible as of this uh, stage in the game, especially with these patches as of recent. Uh, and it looks like that Zealot will be able to take out that probe. A little bit of an early win for Elfie as of this moment. Another pylon on the way for Hasu, and it looks like uh, the gas now getting mined by one worker. This may actually be on purpose to get a little bit more of a mineral boost. Chrono boosting out uh, two stalkers here. And it looks like Elfie is also chrono boosting out two stalkers as well as his warp gate on the way. Immediately grabbing the gas with three guys. And there's also two more gateways coming up at the front for Mahasu Abs. It looks like the gas is now getting the full three probes inside. And we also have Acer's Elfie pushing down here with a couple of his units. Another Stalker is on the way, will be joining the forces up at the front. We also have a Robotics Facility on the way for Elfie. And Hasu Ops now does have a couple of units over here. Looks like they're going to be trying to pick away that Zealot. Looks like the Stalker coming forth will be trying to pick away one of those units here. Looks like Acer might... I mean, Elfie might actually lose that Stalker, and that Stalker barely gets away with 3 HP. Another Reinforcing Stalker gets into the position. This uh, one Zella may actually go down. Uh, and it looks like the probe also getting taken out. Hasu almost losing that Stalker as well. Looks like we're uh, down to 1 HP. Looks like there is a pylon coming up over here for Elfie. Looks like he's trying to pick off that Stalker, but decides not to do it with that, that one remaining Stalker. Hasu warping in a couple of zealots, unable to stop that stalker from escaping. We also have a Twilight Council on the way for Elfie. Uh, he could have gotten this gateway quite a bit uh, ways ahead. He is going for a Twilight Council as well, so it's going to be 3-gate Robo and Twilight Council. 
So this is uh, sort of the new PvP. We have the, a bunch of injured stalkers returning back home, as well as uh, a few more stalkers reinforcing that one. Injured stalker is getting in here from Hasu, and we'll see if he's able to pick any of those guys off. Well, that one injured stalker is really down low on the shields as well. Acer is Elfie keeping good control over his uh, stalkers, and there's a Chrono Boost going down on the Blink upgrade. Hasu now getting his own robo robotics facility, Sh might be going for some immortals in just a second to combat the blink stalkers that are now on the way. Of course, Hasu doesn't exactly know that as of this moment. Uh, blink getting chrono boosted, third warp, warp gate w opening up, fourth warp gate on the way for Elfie. So it is a four gateway blink with a robo uh, facility. We might be seeing some uh, Blink play with the Observer coming out. Elfie now moving across the field with a couple of Stalkers. He also has one Stalker queued up to check the backside over here. There is a Pylon getting warped in by uh, Hasu Ops at this t uh, area, back area. And it looks like a couple of Stalkers as well as that Observer is now advancing across the field. A couple of Stalkers are remaining at home. Looks like the Blink Stalkers over here. Uh, will be able to surround this group, and it looks like Blink is about to finish. Uh, Hasu trying to pick off that one pylon. Looks like um, he's also getting surrounded from the other side. A bunch of stalkers, and the Blink upgrade does complete. So uh, Elfie will be able to pounce forward and take out a ton of these stalkers. Huge mistake by Hasu Ops, getting his uh, unit stuck out outside of there. And it looks like a mortal as well as a couple of additional uh, units warping in, and the... Uh, Stalker's all staying alive for Elfie, he, and he's going to be able to do some harassment here. Uh, Hasu only has these uh, really slow units. Um, there's a bunch of Zealots as well as one Immortal, and it looks like Elfie will be able to poke away at the front. He even has an Observer over here, and he will be able to range down these gateways. Um, but there are Immortals as well, Sentries. We'll see how well uh, Hasu is able to control this. And the uh, Observer parking up on the high ground. Looks like the Stalkers may be able to take out this gateway relatively quickly. One of the Immortals getting up to the front. It looks like Elfie is going to be forced to back out a little bit. And those Stalkers take immense amounts of damage against those Immortals. Looks like Hasu is looking to push forward here. He does have those two Immortals up at the front. And it's pure Stalkers against an Immortal Zealot Stalker force. We'll see if Elfie is able to control this well enough to not lose too many Stalkers to this horse here, and Elfie is probably ready for another round of warp ins. And uh, he does have the warp gates available. The game warp gate is getting really low here, and down falls the first warp gate. Hasu is now down to two gateways as well as only one robotics facility. Looks like a second gateway might also go down. Looks like a blink back from Elfie, and that gateway is so close to death. And it looks like the um, Immortal with the 6 range able to take care of a couple of the Stalkers. And Elfie actually throwing down his natural expansion. He's also getting the charge upgrade. Looks like the Stalkers actually taking a lot of damage here. Um, Hasu actually climbing to 63 food. He's got two additional gateways on the way in the production queue. And it looks like the, uh, the gateway over here may almost go down. It's got 28 HP left. Will Acer actually sacrifice a Stalker to get rid of that? Looks like no. He is not he's just gonna back out of here and the uh, observer also is keeping watch looks like the uh, warp gate is beginning to regenerate those shields and the observer gonna be able to poke back in here there is an observer for Hasu so those stalkers can actually get a couple of shots off and maybe kill off this one observer of Elfie looks like the uh, units from Hasu doing a great job of holding the line here uh, Elfie now getting his natural expansion finished up, will be transferring a couple of units down there. He's also throwing up a fifth gateway. Um, he's running pretty dry in the main, and same with Hasu over here. Uh, both players generally pretty saturated. The first Colossus is out on the field for Hasu, and he may actually push with this. A bunch of Zalts warping in, as well as Stalkers joining the field. And it looks like Elfie is going to be forced out of here. This force is just way too strong from Hasu. And the Blink Stalkers are going to be moving towards the side. We'll see if he's able to blink into the main and do some damage. Is that what he's going to go for? There it is. He can pick off a couple of pylons and possibly this gateway. And that's going to prevent Hasu from actually doing a major push here. Looks like one pylon does go down. And Elfie backs up with the majority of his army intact. A bunch of Zalots warped in. They do have the charge upgrade. However, the Colossus are pretty good against the charge lots. 
and there are additional gateways coming up for Alfie to be able to warp in additional units and the uh, natural expansion now on the way for Hasu so both players now grabbing their natural expansion Alfie getting it much earlier so he's actually going to be in a really good strong econo economic position against his opponent Templar Archives on the way for Elfie, as well as the Twilight Council coming up for Hasu, and the Blink Stalkers continue to try to poke around and do some damage. Elfie is going to be forced to back up and just take control of the Watchtower over here, and a single Zella warping in at this proxy pylon will be running into the natural expansion of Elfie. There's also a Observer checking everything out over here. Looks like that one Zella may be able to get one or two kills with the charge lots over here, quickly getting us around. Um, only getting one kill on that Zealot, and uh, Hasu using this Observer to get, uh, continue to look around the map. This one pylon here may come into play once again, maybe warping in additional Zealots, but additional Templar are coming in for Alfie. Gonna just be making Archons for the moment, he doesn't yet have the Storm upgrade. Really rarely do you ever see... Um, Protosses storm each other, and it looks like the Zealots are advancing across the field. This may be the wrong time for uh, Elfie to push. There are two Colossus out in the field. There's also uh, three sentries, one of them with full energy. Uh, Elfie is only a little bit ahead in terms of food. He's warping in additional units right now. He's got two Archons. We'll see if this is enough to deal with the force from Hasu. He's going to have to get a pretty good surround on this army here, poking in from both of these angles. Um, looks like here comes the push from Elfie, a bunch of force fields going down. I'd like to see Elfie actually back out of here rather than pushing in here as the Colossus are just melting away a ton of those Zealots. And it looks like the charge lots from Elfie are going to be able to run in here. Blink forward from Elfie trying to take out one of those Colossi. Looks like he will not be able to do it. That Colossus survives with just 2 HP. So close to be able to take that Colossus out. Looks like Elfie is going to be backing up, but at, not after losing a all of his zealots needs warping and additional units over here he needs to back up grab the gas at his natural expansion and try to go for additional units here looks like another observer is on the way elfie is going to try to push once again the archon going to be leading the charge looks like hasu is going to be able to deflect that pretty easily it's extended thermal lance now completing for hasu going to be making those colossus even more fearsome the Observer continuing to check out everything that Acer's Elfie is up to. Blink upgrade also on the way for Hasu. And it, uh, additional gateways coming up for Hasu. And Elfie is going to be uh, forced to back up. Another uh, Observer now running its way across the field. And the main four Elfie is now running dry. And uh, Hasu is going to be mining out of his main expansion as well. Still no gas at the natural expansion. Looks like Elfie is going to be the first one to take that. He's going to be uh, continuing to take control of the center of the map with all of these units here. More Archons getting warped in for Acer's Elfie. He needs some additional units out here to be able to do the massive amount of damage to all of these armored units. Looks like the Zalts and the Archons now repositioning themselves, additional Zalts warping in. And uh, Elfie is not really taking the gas here, this is a huge mistake, he needs those to be able to get those Archons up. And also to get additional Stalkers, Hasu not yet taking the gas at his natural expansion, he's feeling a lot of pressure here. Especially with all of these units taking control over here, as well as the robotics facility may go down. Looks like the Stalkers here may not actually target that down. Looks like uh, Hasu is going to be blinking in here, and the Stalkers trying to blink out of here. And it looks like a couple of Stalkers will get completely obliterated. One guy survives with just one HP, and... Uh, what just happened uh looks like i had a little bit of a lag and all of the charge lots and archons trying to poke their way in here this is not a good choice by elfie he needs to back out of here as quickly as possible all of those zealots are in a horrible position and this uh your big protoss ball is getting in a great position with this uh rocks in the way and the immortal zealots moving to the front with the stalkers blinking back looks like elfie is falling very hard in terms of the food count all of the Colossus and Immortals still stand. It looks like one Archon will be falling shortly. And Elfie needs to back up with all of his units as quickly as possible. He's continuing to press the issue here. And the Colossus ranging down a ton of those units. Acer's Elfie now falling to 66 food. GG out of Elfie. And uh, this is just a game one of, of a very exciting series from IEM Guangzhou. IEM China, of course. And we're going to be moving to game two.